and welcome everyone. This demonstration is to show how easy it is to flash the software of a CAN bus vehicle's ECU using our Nanocom Evolution. As the first step in this process is to obtain the required information from the ECU that you would like to flash, you can simply select the CAN bus option followed by ECU information. The Nanocom Evolution then performs an intelligent vehicle type detection and ECU identification process. For the purpose of this demonstration, we will be looking for the instrument cluster, which is shown at the top of the first page. Having selected that ECU, the Nanocom Evolution reads all of the hardware and current software information from it and displays it on screen. You can simply make a note of the relevant information such as the hardware number found here. However, there is also a very useful feature in the form of a save button shown at the bottom of the screen here, which puts all of the information in a plain text file onto the SD card, allowing you to review it as an aid when using our online Genesis system in order to help you select the correct file set that will be flashed later to the ECU. On visiting the Genesis website, you need to complete the logging in process and then press Flash File Download. You will then need to enter the vehicle's VIN number and press the Submit button. Genesis will then quickly identify your vehicle model which will be displayed at the top of the screen. It will also provide a drop down box menu of all of the ECUs for that particular model. And as previously stated, we are demonstrating flashing the instrument cluster, and so we select this from the drop down options. As you see, this then presents a list of all possible file sets organised by their assembly numbers. There is a comprehensive help information and a number of function and filters provided on Genesis to aid in making the correct selection and in this case we can simply toggle the information shown from Ford to Land Rover type part numbers and we will then use the hardware filter to show only the assembly numbers applicable to our specific hardware which we read earlier. By double clicking anywhere on the assemblies listing, you will get a page of detail about it, which will include successor and predecessor information which can aid in making the final selection. Once chosen, simply click on the download button at the bottom left corner of the window, read the disclaimer presented and press accept if you agree. Then save the file in the usual way to your computer, which you will need to then unzip and transfer to the SD card that you will later use with your Nanocom Evolution. With the SD card that has the flash file on board inserted properly and having checked the security of the connections which is always advised where flashing is involved, you can now select ECU programming on the Nanocom's CAN bus menu. Once again, as with any CAN bus function, the Nanocom will perform its intelligent vehicle type detection. Once this process is complete, you can then navigate to the flash file that you have downloaded to your SD card. Now we can begin the actual flashing process.